I swear I didn't. I've never touched that before. Stop saying that, Dark. I swear I've never touched that before. A what? All right, everyone. Welcome to a next well, I have to a new state, so whatever. Um, welcome to a new two, two one playthrough two, four, of Dark three, Star Edition. One. I guess we're restarting host, the playthrough. Yeah. Dark Mario One Thousand <laughs> with the most, and hey, here comes Fat Guy Seven Zero Three. Now all He's of the, the battle player. stuff gets to be obvious. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so obvious these mechanics. Oh yeah. You know how obvious it is that like attack raising items don't stack. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so welcome to the playthrough of Luigi's, uh, the BP challenge. Alright, let's, okay, um, what are we gonna name the final name? <gasps> oh my god, what happened? Wait, is it this? I don't think it is. <laughs> let's not do this again. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. <laughs> the one where Bombette is freaking the I, fuck out? I can out. tell from the, from the weird Bombette. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna yeah. do this this boss real quick, and then afterwards, uh, we're gonna leave the temple uh, because we have some stuff to do <gasps> off screen. Well, not off screen, but I, I did some stuff off screen, and we have some stuff to do in not the, the dark temple. Uh, so I don't know if you have watched the video so far, Jade Aster. I am, I'm caught up, I believe. Okay, good. I know that you loaded the wrong save and saved over it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So there has been an update, but I don't see a reason to update currently. He uh, doesn't want to changes... do this puzzle room again, basically. Yes, because I'm going <laughs> off the safe state. Uh, yeah, this room has like the the opacity of the platforms has changed a little bit. So we're still on the on version 1.4.11. Uh, so it's a little clearer when they're walkable, but it still messes with me because transparency just just does that, you know. Like, it's an optical illusion. Uh, yeah, anyway. And then, um, recoil throw was quote-unquote quote fixed and, well, nerfed. How it, it was always supposed to be, apparently, where it just does your hammer damage to you. Oh. Um, so it still synergizes. Like, I don't think it would change that much for me, because in this setup, it still would do zero damage to me. Because this lowers my attacks, so it would do five to me, and then... Well, all these battles just negate the damage, but eh, it's just fine, it's whatever. Uh, still a really good badge, but I think it's... <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. I'll just uh, do this, this boss and get it over with. Anyway. So yeah, we, we did figure out the strap for this. Yeah, I think that one worked pretty, pretty much. well. Uh, well, actually, I can. If I jump on this guy. Then I can kill him this turn. It's kind of weird... The way I'm gonna do this is just feels a little too easy in a way. Because he always spawns the one bit I can kill every single turn. In the perfect bit, which I have to kill with perfect damage, which I always do with spiny surge. It's kinda of weird. I feel like you should spawn a random bit, but that would go against the whole like, everything can be predicted and calculated, so... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think that this works. Like, you just... you found the strat that works. I don't think it's, like, a bad thing that you, you were able to find a strat like this. Oh, no, of course not, but still, I think it's, it's weird that he always summons the same bit, and it happens to mm. be, like, the easiest bit to take care of. Yeah. Was like rotated around or something. Also, if this is really intended to be a Q-Lex reference, I don't know why all the bits aren't uh, like uh, diamond shaped. Like it's already weird enough that there's uh, like two of the same. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a Q-Lex, q, -lex, q -lex. A reference purely because look, four colored crystals. Like, is but that it, really it does a bother Culex you thing specifically? The, like, I love how <laughs> on the surface level that there's like they're all different, but but one of them. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I love how you're doing full damage against the, uh, the boss because the red guy is technically dying first. Oh, is that the reason? I assume so. <laughs> well... Right, cool, that was very easy. Easy. Yeah, recoil throw is like... Insane. Yep. It's like the best badge in the game. Yeah, easily. <laughs> holy Not shit. Even, no, I wouldn't say like, oh, it's the best badge in the game, but like, holy shit, this is definitely S tier. Sure, it's 3 BP for an attack, but like the 7 FP isn't that expensive compared to like other stuff in this mod. So, I don't know. All right, let's leave. I've had enough of this dungeon. How, how about you, Dark? How do you feel about this dungeon? No, I'm still Dark's here, by the way. He hasn't talked. I'm still wrapping my mind when JD Acer said that you saved over your safe state, but you showed in the recording that you didn't. Or is that a mistake, or did you really figure that out since I haven't? Oh, no, I didn't that. save over my safe state. No, like, what? Uh, the, the backup safe state was the correct safe state, so it was very weird. People, people were also saying I safe stated over my safe state, like after I did my badge, but that's not the case, because the backup safe state of the safe state was a correct safe state, so it was very strange. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Also, I need an opinion, guys. Um, On where to check that for that, hi that hidden badge? Yes. Oh. How do you feel about a late game badge in a hidden block? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I Are don't... there even hidden badge blocks in vanilla? Yes. Yes? There's the one in the toy box that gives you deep focus. It's That's kinda, not hidden. Yeah. It's fairly obvious, but it's it's hidden. Is is that hidden? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh. Well, I, I, think, I, I don't know. I think... didn't believe me. He needed a second JD Acer's eyes <laughs> and memory. I, I I don't think it's fair to say that this would be like unfair or anything because I mean hidden blocks are a thing in this game. You know that they are a possibility, so technically it always could happen. Mm hmm But on the other well, hand, like, having to take what with you and, like, check every single... Like, are you really gonna check every single screen to see, like, oh, is there a hidden block somewhere? Well, the or? hint is there's a block right there. Yeah. And this is, like, a mirror of the room. So, I guess... Yeah, no. it is a hint. Yeah, there we go. Dark power! Well, we were waiting for it. So, it's the opposite of stellar power. But kind of just better. <laughs> and it backfires at highest speed. Uh. Where is it? Dark, dark power. Dark power. Dark power. Three. So yeah, this is just very good for the Dark Temple. Definitely I think it used that could against stand the new to be too, but yeah. What? Definitely could have used that against the new anti-crew, but I just, it didn't really even matter too much anyway. It didn't really matter, but yeah, for the Dark Temple, I can see this being useful. Uh, and maybe for like a, what was it called? Stellar Nova to just drain your SP in one turn and still get use out of it and then start using Dark Power. So I don't know why Black Pipes specifically break partners. Subtle racism in our Dark Star Edition mod. You don't know, the second you you pass through Black Pipe, partners will just stop moving. They're so shocked. Because the pipe is black? Yeah. Okay. Maybe they've just never seen a black pipe in their lives, and they're like, wait, what? That's weird. Pipes aren't supposed to be black. They're green, red, blue even. Not black. Have we played Super Mario World? They're never black. Yes. It could be a gray, there, white, yeah, but not black. A gray one, though, at least. You got some yellow, of course. Purple. Oh yeah. Leaf room. Dark leaf, dark room. All right. You got some silver pipes, right? Dark leaf. 
That might have been what the fact I meant when he said grayish, but I was thinking like the lighter on the silver, but who don't know. Dark, get excited for items, dude. You should have reminded me that I didn't say, Welcome to the 19th of March. Okay. Because you did spell Oh my them. god, a new item! I'm so excited! Oh, dark food with weaker drawbacks! Weaker drawbacks. 99 HP and 99 FP. This seems overkill. Like, dot, what's dot, wrong dot. with the Jelly Ultra? <laughs> That's definitely a leaf, for sure. What? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, it's a leaf covering the mushroom. All right, cool. It's a little wilted. Well, what's the downside? Jelly. Yeah, okay. This is... I wish I knew this before. Like, this is just gonna be outright better than Jelly Jelly Ultras. I've got some grape jam in my fridge right now. Ooh, tasty. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Now let me cook the weaker version. I don't know why you can cook the weaker version, because there's literally no reason to. But whatever. Well, so you gotta keep the integrity of, I guess, the Mario story mechanics. You can cook weaker jelly ultra. We have a maple ultra. Have a honey no, ultra. Like, this shouldn't be a recipe, in my opinion. This is kind of weird. Like, There's why would you actually think, no reason to like, cook? Why listen, would you fam, think to cook the half shroom? Listen, fam. Integrity. You gotta no, keep it. No, zero integrity, dude. I don't. I don't get what you mean. This shouldn't be a recipe. If you same, can cook same for one. the for the dual shroom cake. You can keep cook the half shroom cake. Why? Why can you? Listen. No. Why keep waste all that that cake mix? Ooh. Dark leaf and cake mix. Yes, Dark, you were gonna defend it. I already did. I didn't hear it then. No, I already said you can cook the weaker Jelly Ultra, you can have a Maple Ultra, or a Honey Ultra. That... didn't... Yeah, it doesn't really address... <laughs> yeah. ...anything. <laughs> How does that not address anything? You're still cooking, why would you cook the lower one if you can still have the higher one? Is that you... your defense? Dark. That's literally your argument. Fucking... The, the... <laughs> this one... Yeah, you use the exact same ingredients and you get so much more bang for your buck. There's no reason this should be a recipe. It can be an item when you eat this, because that makes sense that you get this item, but it shouldn't be a recipe on its own. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Thanks, Lenny. I agree. I don't say it doesn't make sense, more like it's more redundant. It makes sense. It's more like obsolete or redundant, like you don't need it. I don't think you can defend that it doesn't make sense though. Oh my god, an obsidian shroom? A dark this dark shroom. Weird. The fuck is this gonna be? Well, an obsidian shroom. How, how, how like... much more evil can a dark shroom look? You can't pretend- oh. What Ooh. the Whoa. <laughs> fuck? It's a mushroom in an orb. It must a be used twice? What? Whoa, what? It, dot, it dot, must be used dot. twice for its effects. Holy shit. That's kind so of So what, you cool? use it and then nothing happens, and then you use it again and something happens? Yeah. But like, what I guess is it, it was probably be? too good. So this interesting mechanic had to be nerfed before it was even a thing. It sounds like... Well, what is it? Check the description. Lenny, I'm cooking everything first, dude. Ugh. Dark leaf and honey syrup. Isn't there some weird freaking item in Super Mario RPG where you have to do this convoluted thing to be able to, like, use it properly? Oh, you mean the, the lamb's lure? Yeah, something like that. Where you need to equip the beta ring to Peach and then use... What's it again? An item you can buy from, like, the, the minor toad. And then after 10 uses, it turns into the lamb's lure. And then after... 100 uses it turns into the sheep attack. Yep. Not quite that obs obtuse, I suppose. Golden Shroom Dark Leaf. A duality shake. <laughs> What's with all these intense names? Okay. Hmm. Huh. 
G shroom cake. Oh, G. G. I don't have another cake mix. Let me go buy a cake mix. I have money. Thirty money, yo. It's true. I only have fifty money, yo. Just setting up for the uh, some item that only works when you have zero coins. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I also need another cake mix for, like, the dark room cake. Spoilers. Well, I mean... <laughs> cake mix gets combined with things in a game. Shocker. So wait, this is just another... an even better... Ultra room cake? Because that had to exist. <laughs> wait, so... We're gonna have to run through this calculus thing again. Like, is there a way no, to no, get that? We don't. Is there a way to get that twenty-five thing like for longer turn count? I mean, I guess you can just use multiple of them. Yeah. No. No. Of course we can, Jadeacer, because the mechanics behind it are very obvious. <laughs> like, I don't remember what the entire thing was, but apparently, like turn counts and. The effect of the cake are separate things, so if you eat a regular shroom cake, but then eat, eat an ultra shroom cake, you get the turn count from both, and the healing from the ultra shroom cake, or something. Like, the uh, the total amount you would heal is kept roughly constant by combining- it, like, from combining them, but like, the amount you heal per turn is based on the last one you use, or something? Yep. It's very obvious, if you ask me. Wow. So this is a worse golden shroom cake. Why, why would you need that? Yeah. Golden meal. I guess this this was a a very obvious one. Delicious. Your statuses, <laughs> but increases move cost by <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Until you refresh. Doubles move costs. Oh no, then I can't use super... I uh, can't use ultra no, jump charge No, but then you use and... the duality shake to have your moves cost. Yes! <laughs> Probably! Well, that's kind of the problem. There's so many interesting mechanics that... have the potential to be so good... like, things have to be nerfed. And I kind of just like the mechanics without all the unnecessary nerfs. So does Tasty give you a badge once you've cooked, like, everything on the list? Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Infinidip. <laughs> just use... All no, your I, items I, I thought it was gonna it was gonna be the, uh, like, the Yoshi cookie effect, but on everything you eat. But it's a badge. Uh, Trade-off shake. Miracle Jelly and Darkroom. So what would the trade-off shake do? I still would have preferred a stone from Tasty. No, she's not- I know it's a badge dart. I know, I just said I would have preferred a stone. But I suppose- It's a stone, Tasty! You didn't cook it! I suppose <laughs> we'll have to wait for something like, say, a more obvious location like the Dark Temple. Boosts the potency of item buffs. Oh, and then if you use the duality shake, you you, <laughs> you can reduce the potency. <laughs> reduce the potency. Re reduce the potency of the boost of the potency. <laughs> no, you reduce yeah. the potency of the of the of the buff. No, no, no! It doubles the it, it doubles the <laughs> swapping of. The <laughs> <laughs> so it swaps twice. So just normal. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> Yes? Cake. Ooh. Okay. Every third item is a freebie? How does that work with life shrooms? That is a good question. Oh. If I use five life shrooms, do I get two of them <laughs> back? <laughs> Just have 20 life shrooms so you can take three lethal hits. <laughs> I guess. Wait, if it works for life shrooms, you get two revives. In one battle, no, so go for, all right. Ten go with BP. A full inventory of them, and then you get like four, four, four revives. No, but see, because it's it's no, you like use that all of them. Would be a possibility no, but then you that get just six makes of me feel like it's gonna be like oh, but it doesn't work with life shrooms. It probably doesn't. <laughs> What's the BP cost? Is gonna be twelve. 
Was it that eight one there? I don't know. Refund. Wait, what? You skipped it all the way to higher. It was near double dip. Oh, no. Our fanatic? My bad. What? It was near double dip, which is higher. Oh, what? it is eight. eight. Why? What is the point? No, help me here, guys. <laughs> hey, man, for those cursed things, maybe you need 30 items. <laughs> See down. It doesn't mention life shrooms. <laughs> yeah, so that's the reason it's 8 BP then. This is, this is just... It should have been called Life Shroom again. <laughs> because the 8 BP is not... Like, I can carry 20 items already. I, I really don't see the points of using 8 of your 30 BP on this. It's pretty intense. Dark JJ, sir, any ideas why it would be that way? I mean, one of the two things that I've proposed. <laughs> Just the live stream, and that's the reason it's eight. That or late game stuff with curses or whatever that would somehow make use of more than 20 items. Such a weird way to go about dowsing, though. Okay. Dark? What does Hello. any of this nonsense do, though? We in this nonsense or the items? The item nonsense. Like, I want to know what the fucking obsidian shroom is. If you have to use it twice, a horn shroom that must be used twice for its effects. It becomes a molten shroom. Say, so yeah, use it once. It's a molten shroom. Then use it again. Okay. So you can get a five attack boost for three turns. Yeah. But you would kind of need, like, to double dip this with an FP recovery item then. No, triple dip, because first you need to use the Obsidian Shroom, yeah. and then, then you need again. to use the Molten Shroom, and then you need to recover your FP. Yeah. Okay. I mean, attack boosts are kind of, like, very broken if it's a lot, so I guess... It rounded up. Oh yeah, and like you can't go down to zero FP, unlike the HP one with the dark T. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dark room, cake. Yeah. What? <laughs> and then fifteen HP and FP more uh, on later turns. So there's really no downside to this, honestly. Provided that because you're going to recover the 15 you. HP and FP <laughs> once you end your turn anyway. Like, the, the recovery happens when your turn ends. Yeah. So I don't really see... I guess when you're already below the max, you wouldn't recover everything, but... Uh, okay. But the Golden Shroom Cake is still going to be better. So have your FP to give you an FP save effect for four turns. Okay, that makes sense. But it halves, so it... Oh, so it can it only can... save up to three, then? That's not good. There's other items that can do that. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry, this one is four turns. And combined with the... What was it? The duality shake? <laughs> it's up to eight turns! Oh, no, no! No, 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 you, you gain FP cost for, for up to for four turns if you use it It doubles your FP <laughs> from 50 to 50. Oh, no, gosh, no. <laughs> but that's not a buff, though. Like, the Wildy Shake only works on buffs you already have, presumably. Oh, so you only have one instance. A one-of-a-kind cake. I think this is a very silly way... Well, like, you can still use, and... like, two ultras and then this to convert the healing to 25 per turn. Can if, you, though? Do if you, we do understand you really how, how that works? works properly. <laughs> yeah, if you if 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 you understand how it works, I guess, but... Then you get, like, seven turns of 25 healing. Like, this is the same with the Miracle Jelly, where, like, oh, if you use it, everything is gone for your inventory. Basically saying, like, oh, only carry one. But I think it's a very silly way to go about having the player only carry you one. 
Also, how does freebie work with this? <laughs> you just get it back. That makes sense. The golden meal. Remove all from your... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> See, that's fine. Five turns, yeah, sure. I don't know why it would be 25 FP, though. I mean, the shroom steak only gives 10. Okay. I find it crazy. It's like, it, like using it removes all other copies from your inventory, so you can only have one, basically. That's literally what we were just talking about. Well, yeah. Right? And I, I said it was a very strange way to go about having player only, only carry one. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh gosh, my item is too good. Uh, fucking all copies disappear. Yeah, that's the thing. That's a theme. It's like th they find up find out a really cool concept for like an item. Then it's like, oh, but that would be too good. Let's just think, oh yeah, but it doesn't work like this and it doesn't work like this. Yeah. But recovery? What? So you just get poisoned? <laughs> what? Also, like, it's the <laughs> you can definitely see this item is made by a programmer. Yeah, yeah they're multiplied by minus, minus one. one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a strange way to put it. But I I understand what it means, but it's a very strange way to put it into the game. <laughs> okay. Too bad that it's item boosts and not lava piranha nerfs. <laughs> Just like, you fool! Are we sure, though? 20 no, attack! No. <laughs> or 20 defense! <laughs> I mean, maybe it works. Who knows? Presumably you have to have star power for this to work. Oh, that's... Not bad, I guess. Seven turns. Of plus two attack and defense. Hey, eight turns with FP plus. Yeah. No, I'd still go. Like, I wouldn't use three whole BP just to get that extra turn on the side. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually a really good one. Because then you can use the dark badges. Yeah, this one's interesting. Yeah. Dark food with weaker drawbacks. Restores 99 HP, 99 FP, and removes all items from your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> But what? <laughs> Two turns though. I mean, no. If you use the duality, wait. Was what was duality shake? No, that inverts the the trade off shake. Mm -hmm. Then it's four turns. No, wait. What no, no, no. Just like Yoshi biscuit this. Yeah. Wait. Oh, what was the other thing? Wait, long lasting. Wait. So it's like a. So you get nothing. I guess that's like a, a hangover thing. It happens after the fact. No, does it actually only increase your attack and defense by two then instead of four? Or is this after? I assume it would have to the be after. The buff leaves. Because that's, that's after the buff disappears, then you're at minus two. I would think that. But it's confusing. Okay, use this on a Goomba. I have to know whether you can extend this with Yoshi Biscuit. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. First, we're just gonna... Well, first we see how it works. This one removes all oh, other yeah, ones right. from your inventory. Here's another one of those like little things like, yeah, okay, like this and like this, and if you do it like this, then it works like this, but not like this because it's the same as smooch and you can only use it once, so don't use smooch. Yeah. <laughs> yep, all right, sure. Wait, but this increases the boosts and the potency of buff items. So it's... It, isn't this basically a Yoshi cookie? Da, da, da. Well, no, but, but da, da, potency da. isn't the same as turn duration. What? Wait, so you could use that with a freaking dark uh, thing to get six turns of, uh, of three attack and defense? But then would you get even less attack power after the fact, or will you only get minus one after the fact? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, I was talking about the uh, the dark cake. 
while they deliberate about that, I'm still going to be that person. Shadeblade, you could have separated those two words. Turn counts, definitely not one word. But I feel like the turn counts usually, like, on those items aren't high enough to warrant this. Yeah, that's why I'm saying dark cake. You can get seven turns of uh, the buff. No. Does it's the... only plus one. No, the dark cake. Am I misremembering yes. what this does? The dark cake? The dark cake, not the dark shroom cake. Oh. Yeah, you get seven turns with this. You could make that six, which is a very small, like, yeah. loss. Yeah! <laughs> And then you get plus four? Plus three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's. But then you use good. it again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm assuming you can do some insane stuff oh, with, no. with, like, inventory, and that's maybe why the, uh, the item saver is eight, <laughs> but I really, really don't see myself F using it. Five turns of plus four and four. <laughs> is that really a thing? At the expense and of this is no the reason why stuff like Quake Jump just isn't good. Because it's only good when you do the insane setup. Yeah, and the dual jelly, very good. It's just, it's just a better I feel like jelly you're kind ultra. of underselling the fact that it hits multiple times. <laughs> and as such has a multiplier of more than one on it. What do you mean? Like, the fact that you're using it multiple times means that it scales faster than one times your attack. What do you mean? I mean, it's a jump move. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's the same as power bounce. But it's still a jump move. Good night, Holy you selfless. Shit. <laughs> Why does the obsidian shroom not sell for anything? Maybe the molten shroom sells for a lot. Okay, we're going to do some testing. No, get a Yoshi biscuit. Like, I want to, <laughs> I want to see how that that hangover thing works. If you, like, mess with the turn lengths. I want to see what happens to the turn counts if you use a Yoshi Biscuit on that thing that has the hangover effect. What, what was it, the Dark Pop? The Dark Shroom Cake? No, oh, wait. The Dark Pop has, like, the increased turn? The, the Increased? No, what was it? It increases your attack and defense by four, and then it decreases them by two. No, sorry, not Dark Pop. What was it? The, uh... No, it was below this, I think. The Leaf Room. Gives you a plus four attack and defense for two turns, but then you get minus two attack and defense for... What's long-lasting, though? I like, forever? <laughs> Nine turns? I don't know. I'm assuming forever until you refresh, probably? No, wait, that wouldn't be a thing. You would need to override it with, like, another boosting item, I think. Why wouldn't refresh cure that? Because then you can refresh yourself out of boosts. And that would be very silly. Right? I don't know what you mean. Like you can't refresh before it comes into effect. No, like, if, if this type of buff, like the buffs you cast on yourself, if those could be cured with refresh, then you can refresh yourself out of a buff. Can't you already do that with frozen fries? Can you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can get rid of the attack drop from the frozen fries by eating an attack boosting item. I don't think you can refresh yourself out of the attack drop. I don't know actually. This warrants more testing apparently. <laughs> oh boy. So what, Yoshi biscuit or? Uh... Yeah, Yoshi biscuit, the uh, the dark leaf shroom thing. Maybe I should uh, should equip double dip. Maybe. Uh, or yes. triple dip, even. <laughs> and get rid of, like, defensive badges. So we can actually see... Fair. Like, what we get for <laughs> oh, this. Oh no, our defense was lowered. It's still three. <laughs> 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 Who knows what anything does. Oh yeah, we won't be able to tell on these enemies, I guess, because they don't only have one attack power. Well, we'll be able to tell... Like, when the effects happen, at least.
I was gonna say go the extra distance and equip item saver even if you want to go for the triple no. dip. But sure. I'll, I'll just reset the It's fine. I know you will. It was for the memes, sir. So Yoshi Biscuit and the uh, Dark Shroom Leaf Shroom. Minus zero. Minus zero. <laughs> what? That was oh! It was probably trying to show 198. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, what else? I guess, I guess I'll use the Obsidian Shroom for my oh, final yeah, dip. Wow. Okay, so we should have... Get a freebie. Wait. We should have four attack and defense right now. Oh, shit. I have auto dodge. <laughs> yeah, four attack and defense right now, right? Yeah, so. So I would do 7 7. Yes. Nope. No. That is so dumb! Okay, that is very poorly, like. No. Re no, cha no. Change no. that item description if you really do mean that they overlap, because that's absolutely stupid. <laughs> No, no one no, would the, interpret that that way, or should know, interpret Jay that Easter, that it's way. It's very obvious. <laughs> this is how it works. No, that, I disagree with that wording. Wait, but why am I not taking damage? Because you still have two defense. Oh, there we go. So now, we should, do you have minus two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Forever, then. Well, we can see how long. <laughs> is it doubled in length? <laughs> if there if there is an end. But what's what's double of forever? Who knows? <laughs> I think I have to like actually refresh out of this. Probably. Let's see how low it can go. Double speed it. Let's go. How low can you go? 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 I don't think turn counts can go over 9 anyway. So if it's actually a turn count thing, then... It wouldn't be more than 9 turns. But I doubt it's a turn count thing. Seems more akin to a... P up D down thing, except two of them. Seems more akin to like a, ra la a Rava Piranha yeah, boost. Yeah, it might work that way. Try refreshing it off. So a wait, Rava can I refresh fish. after using the the dark leaf shroom leaf shroom dark yeah. leaf, and then I get I actually get the full four for one turn. Well, three turns if you Yoshi biscuit it. Okay, does it work like Lava Brahma? Yes. But can you refresh yourself out of buffs? Because that's not a buff. Oh. Do it. So what did this do? You... Is this the one that you basically get because you lose 50 HP, you then get plus 5 attack power? 50 FP. Yeah, 50 FP, I mean. For three turns. Was it three? Yeah. Hmm. Look at that FP go. We should have eight and eight. Yeah, watch that FP go. Yeah, so I guess the leaf room stuff is applied simultaneously. There should really be a line that says that. <laughs> uh... So what else? The star... Wait, the dark cake? And the trade-off shake. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go heal, though, for my star power. Man, you could, like, refresh yourself out of the debuff and then still get a turn of the buff, but... Or use an item that, like, recovers buffs. Uh, recovers, uh, debuffs. Yeah, like... I forget. <laughs> One of these does that, I don't remember which. <laughs> Wait, dark cake. Yeah. And then... <laughs> well, the the black effect there. And then trade-off shake to extend the boost. So what if I do or this, like... then I get minus... <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, yeah, save it before you do that. <laughs> but no, yeah, let's see the, the... Actually, no, we can just use it on a later turn, because this should last for, like, six turns. Can you bring, like... What if I bring, like, ten duality... Uh, th like, ten... Trade-off shakes, or, like, however many, and get, like, way more. Like, it's only minus one turn for the seven turns I'm getting. Yeah, you could have, like, plus six for three turns. How's your P? <laughs> Just start the fight by using... Okay, so you should have minus three move cost. Minus two. Minus two? Why only yeah. two? Because I lost 20 FP. Oh, right, because you used the triple dip. Okay. So. Yeah, that's plus three. Okay, now use the, the, uh, the, uh, shake. The trade-off shake and flip them all around. <laughs> <laughs> Increase your FP cost. <laughs> and have, like, minus three attack. And defense. This is good. <laughs> all right, let's see. <laughs> Uh, yeah! Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, 9 FP. <laughs> no, 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 we gotta see that minus defense. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, and I'm gonna do even less damage now. No, just, just recoil throw. That's kind of disappointing, honestly. <laughs> well... Oh, mushroom. Why did that only do that much damage? I don't know. I don't know where you got that defense. <laughs> uh... I don't know. Oh, you're still on the old version, that's why. Well, it, it does four base. Yeah, you still should have... Oh, I got less attack power. Oh, right. It, it didn't, <laughs> Cancel it didn't each scale. other out, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it didn't scale at all because I have, I have minus attack and minus defense. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, um, I feel like I need more trade-off shakes. That's potential to be very good. With the... Well, no, I can't use that in the Dark Temple. <laughs> because you don't have star power. Yeah. All right, hold up. I'm going to cook a bunch of uh, dual jellies. And just bring those to the Dark Temple. I feel like that'll work. <laughs> oh, it'll it'll do some stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After like, I have forty items to full heal after every battle, basically. Jesus. I want to know what stuff you still have stored. <laughs> That's just not of consequence anymore. I don't know. Altar from cakes are still good. Yeah. You can hold more than one of them without them spontaneously combusting. So what's even left to do at the moment? Dark Temple the Dark and temple. question mark? And Dark the Temple, boss Giga rush. Bowser, yeah. Boss Rush, okay. and that's about it. Giga Bowser does... Oh yeah, Giga Bowser, yeah. Oh yeah, Giga Bowser. Isn't it too bad that all these like crazy items are in Endgame where you kind of don't really have that much to do anymore? I guess yeah, just to do the, to do the cursed super bosses. Yeah, again, because like... You get a lot of cool stuff, but yeah. The rest of the bosses in the Dark Temple are going to prevent you from using items. Mm hmm Rendering item saver even more useless. I'm still wondering where you're getting three whole stones from. Giga Bowser, Boss Rush, and Dark Temple? I guess. That has to be it. Where else can can I get it? There's just a stone in this crater. <laughs> this entire game, you could have picked it up. No, when you finish the Dark Temple, there's a note saying, Ha, you should have done Luigi's Challenge Greed Stone. That's where you get the stones. <laughs> there aren't, aren't actually seven stones in the game. No, there's five, <laughs> but you need five. to do Greed Stone Luigi's Challenge <laughs> yeah. just for this final gauntlet. <laughs> Sorry, play again for the good ending. <laughs> mm-hmm. Basically. Just redo it. I do wonder. I just mm -hmm. noticed, like, you know, if you take an Ultra Shroom and a Jam and Jelly, what do you get? A jelly Ultra? Like, a Jelly Ultra, yeah. But then why is it... But then if you combine 
a dual shroom with a jam and jelly. Do you want it to be a... A jelly duel. <laughs> a jelly duel? I mean, that follows It would make more same, sense. Yeah. It, it follows the same naming convention as the other shrooms. Now it's, like, reversed. Oh, I want a jelly half. <laughs> a jelly half, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Change it, Chainblade. Lenny's right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> While we're at it, Peachette should be called... no. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, continue with that, because that still is relevant to other people who have been making Super Crown artwork since, well, I guess, that reveal way back when. Yeah, those people are definitely watching this. Well, yes, they are. Oh, you want to make the, you wanna make this weird, Lenny? What? Uh, hey, some scrub. If you're watching this, Lenny likes your art. Oh my God. Wait, who's? Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, your art is cool. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned it in a Pokemon stream. Oh, was it in Pokemon streams? Yeah. Oh yeah, you showed the art, and I was like, oh shit, wait, I know this guy. Or well, I I recognize the art. I I know this guy personally. <laughs> That is not true. He and I Are had one. Sure? He and I had. What a, I told you it was me. <gasps> oh no. He and I had a night out together, eating some dinner. Went to Applebee's. Got the all-you-can-eat special. It's a good time. I need another jelly. God damn it! There is no Applebee's here. Probably for the better. There's only regular bees. That was a little bit of a shade on Applebee's, but I did like Applebee's as a youth. For the people who are in the United States and have an Applebee's, shoutouts to y'all who have went to Applebee's. What's your favorite thing? So if the answer is going to be anything different than chicken tenders and fries as a youth, but I'm sure there are people who diverted from that. Wait, to sell other stuff than apples and bees? <laughs> that just completely falls advertising, if you ask me. What do you mean with buy bees? Like a jar of bees? Yeah. And they're, like, alive? Yep. Sounds useful. <laughs> to be fair... You never know a... when you'll need a jar, jar of bees. Yeah! As a youth, you know, th the naming for these restaurants did kind of confuse you, boy, so I really did think it they meant it in the literal sense at first. If Burger King makes sense, then why not Applebee's? Why do I not see any apples and bees? Yeah, they sell burgers and kings in there. <laughs> if I go to Hooters, how come I don't see any owls? Well, I mean, if you go to Burger King... And you get, like, one of those cardboard crowns. You're a king. You put that mm. crown on. Yeah, yeah. So, in a sense, you are buying something that will make you a king. It doesn't make you a king. <laughs> no, no, see, see, see. Don't forget, we have to also think about the euphemisms for, like, throne. You know? Because after you eat Burger King, you're going to return to your throne like a king. Ah. So, to get the most <laughs> out of the, the, the dark leaf, Good segue. Shroom, leaf, shroom, dark leaf, shroom, dark leaf, shroom, shroom leaf, dark, the jelly ultra dark shroom, the dark jelly shroom ultra, this is gonna be the, the jelly dark, as well. to get the most out of the jelly dark, you need to triple dip it with the trade-off shake, if. and then use... Like a golden shroom to get rid of the debuff. Why trade-off shake? Then you're getting the five boost for one turn. Okay, no, the other one. Something else. Yoshi biscuit? Whatever, yes, that. <laughs> that one. And then you need to like... So you definitely need to triple dip to get the most out of it. Yeah. No, okay. I mean, triple dip is very good. I wonder if the three thing, like, crosses over battles. Can you go in and guarantee your first one is a freebie? Surely not. Probably not. Although it does synergize nice with triple dip because then, like, you don't have to keep track and you're like, okay, my third item, I'll, I'll just have another instance. Just make triple dip the default. <laughs> mm. Like so many folks do with quick change. Just assume you have it on and use it. You're gonna use it every it's, time it's you all, use an like, item. Honestly, triple dip is so good in this. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> I, I'm not saying anything against Triple Dip or quick, uh, quick Change in this mod, especially. Quick Jump, though? Nah, that's so bad. <laughs> what, that's not just your default attack, though? Oh, yeah, it is. I love using 12 FP for, like, 3, 2, 1, Quake. 
Oh, by the way, people in the comments, write your essay on item saver and why it's the best badge in the game. I expect at least three paragraphs. Mm-hmm. And I'll grade your comments. It's also kind of tough to commit bringing any of these items if you don't know what's coming, right? Yeah. It's always just safer to bring healing items. General healing items. I'll keep inventory space open just in case. I feel like I'm good with my current setup. Yeah, still my defensive stuff. <laughs> yes. Oh, I need the attack up, I guess. Why? Well, I don't need this. Well, just the attack up is nice, isn't it? I guess. I'm not. I like it's kind of free. Well, it is three BP. Oh uh, yeah. And then I can equip. Well, you can equip Dark Power and Stellar Power and just have them cancel each other out at any time. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. If you're below a fourth, you can actually get plus two. But you need to stay, like, at between zero and two star power. Yeah. To get both. Uh, I mean, the worst <laughs> imagine doing out. that. And then you're wasting 5 BP on them. <laughs> See, it's it's suboptimal, but I would love to like play around with stuff like that, but just not really a thing you can do. Just try and make it work. Yeah. You'll just have to focus every couple of turns. That diversion aside, see you all mm -hmm. next time when we actually make yeah, progress. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>